You want to talk about players who earn new contracts. Bobby McMahon has been on fire. Eight goals in 14 games leading into this one against the Philadelphia Flyers. Signs a two-year extension worth $1.35 million per season. Your thoughts, Hutz? I like it. I think it's a decent depth signing. He's been responsible. He's a little more mature. You know, a guy that can play on the defensive side of the puck and score. And it's not like he's new to scoring. It's not like this is a little outburst, right? You look at him a year ago playing in the American League, you know, in 30 games having 21 goals. Like, those are ridiculous numbers. Like, I I don't know if everyone understands how good the American Hockey League and how hard it is to score there as well. So, he's a guy, he can score, he can add some depth. And I think with his maturity and experience, you know, learning to play on the other side of the puck, especially as a guy that isn't a silver spooner. Like he's not a big pick. He's not someone that's going to come in and expect things, right? We can see that we're going to talk about someone later on who expects things and and wants things to go his way, where when you're a mature guy, you've come the hard road, you just want to play and you're going to do whatever you're going to take. You're going to put your stats and all that aside to do what's best for the team. But also he has that element. So when someone does get hurt, he gets a better opportunity. He's going to help this hockey team. I love this signing. I just think he's a low maintenance guy. It didn't cost a lot of money and he can add some depth to this team. I'm right there with you again. Uh, the 82 game pace. So he's got 40 games under his belt, 10 goals, 18 points, prorated over 82. That's 21 goals, 37 points for 1.35 million. If he can get somewhere in that ball, ballpark, I, I think that's incredible value. Uh, number one, the salary caps moving up this summer. And number two, considering some of the guys you have to pay starting next year, a boost in pay at that, and specifically Matthew, specifically Willie Nylander. You need guys like this to filter throughout your lineup. And I think that's a great value buy. Good at McMahon. I wonder how much money he earned in the last two months in terms of scoring goals and doing all that. And you just need guys like this on your roster. So I actually think the value's there for this one. Yeah, and I like this play by Tree Living too. Like what I find sometimes in guys that have never had one-way contracts or like a big deal like this is you hold them to the flame right now. Because now he gets this offer and he goes home and he thinks, okay, if I don't take this deal, you know, maybe he keeps playing and he gets that pace. He's going to be worth a lot more in free agency, right? But for him is the pressure of like, I've never been paid before. Or I'm an injury away from this changes everything. I need to get my money. So I like this play from both sides, right? Like Bobby McMahon, not necessarily betting on himself, taking the sure thing, making sure he's in the league no matter what for the next two years or going to get a chance to be. Where Tree Living, you know, adding value immediately, knowing that if he keeps playing this well, man, it's going to cost us a lot more. So I, I love it from both sides. I think it's a good play by management. And obviously, I'm happy for Bobby McMahon. You know, I, I'm a big guy of people that earn it the hard way, right? Not just giving it to him. Yeah, and I think there's obviously a level of like, this team gave me a shot to stick in the NHL, which I think, a play, and maybe you can speak to this, I can't, a, a player, like you, you hold that tight to your heart and say, you know what, that's probably why I'm going to do it. I, I'm just more so curious, like how you land a 1.35, like you're telling me if the Leafs came at him and said, here's two years at a mill pure, right? You, you, like he wouldn't say yes. That, that's, that's what the intrigue was for me is like how they landed at that number, you know? Yeah, I'm sure there's some comparables at his agent. Like, trust me, sure. they're going to try to jack it up as much as they can in that sense, right? I think it just comes down to the fact of getting it done early, you know, eliminates the risk on both sides, right? Where, you know, let's meet in the middle. Let's, we'll take care of you. You take care of us kind of thing. So it's an interesting signing for sure. I, I know the number is is where it is, but I would guarantee you there's got to be some comparables age-wise, goals-wise, where they're playing off as an agency. Like, I've been through this a million times, right, where, I usually would go to free agency. I never signed during the season, but you know, the, I, I played with lots of guys that are just depth players that would always get these sort of contracts because of the fact that it's like, well, you could risk it and keep playing the season out, or you take this money now and you know get you on term. So, I, I lo- honestly, I love it. There's not really anything bad for me to say about it. You know, obviously, see how it plays out, and I'd assume with his maturity, it's not like he's just gonna stop producing or stop trying or shut the mill right like he wants to be there now he's got his chance to really make some money on the next deal make sure to check out more of our content right here on the leafs nation youtube page we got long form interviews we got clips we got epic rants by jay rozo we simply have it all and don't forget you can find out much more at the leafsnation.com thanks so much for watching